What's up Guardians, Profane here, thanks for checking out the video. In all likelihood, the King's Fall Raid will be returning in Destiny 2 as early as next season. We know this based off of in-game suggestions, as well as Bungie's direct announcement that a returning raid will come after the Vow of the Disciple. While we still wait for the in-game story to unfold itself throughout the season of The Risen, I want to take some time today to talk about what the return of the King's Fall Raid will mean for Guardians as far as what returning weapons, armor, exotics, and other cosmetics will be made available once the King's Fall Raid launches. Now before we get started, if you enjoy the video and find it helpful, be sure to hit the like button below along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated. Now that we are just four weeks into Season of the Risen, it is all but set in stone that we will see Oryx and the King's Fall Raid return next season. It's just not narratively cohesive to jump from our current Hive and Taken storyline over to a fallen SIVA based one in order to reintroduce the Wrath of the Machine. Crota's end has already been chopped up and dispersed through various aspects of Destiny 2, which only leaves King's Fall as the clear returning raid. But with its return, just as we saw with the Vault of Glass, we can expect to see some, probably not all, but some of the original King's Fall weapons making their return into Destiny 2. Along with each class getting a return armor set, the Kingslayer Ghost, various shaders like the Bone Marrow, and other cosmetics, along with the raid exotic itself, the Touch of Malice Scout Rifle returning as a potential reward. As far as the weapons that we could see return in King's Fall, the original offered nine weapons with four having exotic versions added on later in the game. Additionally, the Touch of Malice was acquired through a side quest, but still considered a raid exotic from King's Fall. The weapons included the Doom of Chelsea's Scout Rifle, the Zaoli's Bane Hand Cannon, Anguish of Disdain Auto Rifle, the Spite or Smite of Moraine Pulse Rifle, Mita's Reckoning Fusion Rifle, the Defiance of Yasmin Sniper Rifle, Quillium's Terminus Heavy Machine Gun, and the Elium's Frenzy Rocket Launcher. And as you can see, each one of these are absolutely stunning, with this awesome bone theme running along each weapon. And I can only imagine how much more awesome they'll look in Destiny 2 being re-rendered along with the new shader options that we have. I think it's more likely that we will see the four weapons that were turned into exotics being the return raid weapons with adept versions being made for the master version of each encounter. The weapons that were made into exotics were the Anguish of Drastain, the Zaoli's Bane, the Smite of Moraine, and the Doom of Chelsis. Now, each class should also come with a new re-rendered armor set based off of the original King's Fall Raid. Now, the original armor sets for Titans were the War Numums set, the Hunters had the Dark Hollow armor set, and Warlocks got an interestingly named Worm God set, with each item getting an individual Worm God's dedicated name and identifier. Nevertheless, these armor sets were profoundly awesome. Towards the end of Destiny, these armor sets were given a rebuff with glows, just as Vault of Glass did. But when we saw Vault of Glass return in Destiny 2, we did not see those same armor sets returning in any way. Instead, we saw re-rendered versions of the original Year 1 armor sets from Vault of Glass, which is exactly what I would expect to see when the King's Fall returns as does its armor. Now, the Touch of Malice was made available through a quest called Hunger Pangs, 
which was available through Eris Morn. It wasn't required to run King's Fall Raid to acquire it, but it was literally made for the raid, and it's for that reason that I wouldn't expect to see any other exotics return with King's Fall, just as we saw the Vex Mythic class was the returning exotic with Vault of Glass. The Touch of Malice had a rare and dangerous perk called the Touch of Malice, which the final round of the magazine would continuously regenerate as you dealt damage, continuously firing increased the damage that each one of those shots did, but simultaneously weakening you, devouring your life force. But now with the introduction of Void 3.0 and things like our own Devour being available on all classes, the Touch of Malice could certainly make for some interesting new builds and loadouts. Outside of returning weapons and armor, we could also see the return of the Kingslayer Ghost Shell, a Taken themed ghost which was really awesome looking, and even the Bone Marrow Shader, one of the more popular shaders in Destiny 1. We will likely see some new inspired emblems along with a few new shaders, a sparrow and possibly even a new exotic ship all when the King's Fall Raid returns alongside plenty of new triumphs. You can expect Oryx and the King's Fall Raid to return to Destiny 2 sometime between Season 17 and Season 18, which means you only have a few months to wait before spending endless more hours once again trying to take down Oryx and watch him drift off into space. In all likelihood, the mechanics for the raid will be identical to what we saw in the original King's Fall, outside of some minor mechanic adjustments and maybe some new mechanics added in for master modes. Personally, I cannot wait for this raid to return and for these weapons and armor to come back. I was such a huge fan of the entire Taken King DLC. Its weapons, the raid, the armor, its missions, its story, everything. It was truly awesome and it will make me so very happy when this stuff comes back so let me know your thoughts on the return of Oryx and the King's Fall Raid in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's video and found it helpful, be sure to hit that like button below along with the subscribe button. Both are greatly appreciated and really do help support the channel. Until next time, Guardians, this has been Profane wishing you some happy hunting.